What is up guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you like classic cars, please hit the subscribe button. You can see all of our new inventory as we get in every week, and you can watch me and Chris go out and chase classic cars. Please subscribe today. We'll see you then. Let's go. What is up guys? Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. I got this nice 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe up for sale today. This one's special though, it's not your normal little 289, this is a 390 big block. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of the vehicle so you know exactly what you get before you get it. We're gonna go over the good, the bad, and if there's any ugly. Before we get started guys, please hit the subscribe button if you wanna see all of our classic cars. Plus you can watch me go out and chase classic cars with Chris, us buying them, and then we get them back here and we sell them. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me right now. I'll, you know, pause it, subscribe. We need subscribers to grow our channel. Do that for me if you like this channel. Nineteen sixty-seven Ford Mustang Coupe with a three ninety. This is a two-owner vehicle. It's paired with a four-speed manual transmission. No power steering, no power brakes. This is just your basic four-speed 390 big block car. It gets up and goes. It's got a ton of power. It looks good. It's not a show car, but it's a nice example of a big block. And it's priced right. Price is in the description in the listing and on the thumbnail. If you've owned a 390 big block Mustang, please leave me a comment right now, appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get started guys. So we'll start with the driver side fender. Driver side fender looks good. As you can see, the paint shines well. You can see my reflection in it beautifully. I would say the paint quality is, uh, you know, it was probably painted, I'm going to say within the last 15 years, and they used higher quality paint. You don't see orange peel in it or anything. But there is a lot of nicks and scratches in the car. Driver quality. Starting on this fender, you can see a big scratch right here. And you can see no scratch here that was filled in. Rest of the fender looks good. Tire's almost new. Wheel has a little bit of wear. You can see on the inside there. But it does have new tires on it. Moving on to the front. Light looks to be in good shape. Top of the fender seems to be in good shape. Couple little scratches there. Chrome looks good shines well i noticed in the grill you got this little section here it looks like it was shiny at one point horse looks nice i don't see any cracks in the grill there the ford looks nice and good and the hood the hood looks good too i see a little imperfection here in the clear But this car shows very well. Beautiful color, night mist blue. Not the original color, it was a teal color, which I will show you when we pull the Vintag. We have the Vintag on this, we have the option tag, the buck tag. Looking at the gaps, the gaps look nice on this side. And also look nice on this side. They look even. On both sides. Back here, I don't see any rot or rust down in there where sometimes they rot out. Going on to the passenger side fender, again, you can see my reflection really good in it. So paint quality is nice, it's just uh, the little flaws with the body. 
This fender's in good shape. I don't see anything except here, a couple of scratches you can see in the paint on this door. You got a little chip there. Tire's brand new. Wheel, same case like the other one. Now moving over here to the passenger side, before we get in the door, let's look at the vinyl top. A lot of these vinyl tops like to get rust bubbles in them. Water likes to sit in here. This one looks fairly well. I don't see any bubbling or anything that shows it's got rust underneath. Looks really, really good. Same thing with the back of it. The vinyl top's in good shape. Okay, let's look at this gap. This gap looks good. Does not look like it was obviously hit or anything like that. This gap here looks as well good. Body lines are nice and straight on this car. She's a looker, look at that. I mean, she looks really good. She does have the flaws in the paint, the scratches, the little chips here and there. But overall, she's a good looker. Okay, it didn't close as good, you see there. And I did that, the super light, like I normally always start off super light. And it doesn't shut when I do it light. We'll turn it up to medium. And she's closed good. Do it again, medium, and she was good. One thing I will say, this is a little hard. I gotta push this hard to open that up. Just keep that in mind. You gotta give it a nice, firm close. Now this window here doesn't look like it's shut. Let's go ahead and open that up real quick, like before I forget, make sure it's not, yep. See if that lines up better. And there it goes better. And then also we can roll up this back window, see if that shuts good. And this does not work. Okay. So this window, back window is not working. Just so you know. <coughs> we want you to know exactly what you get before you buy it. So we practice here at Bob Evans Classics. It's all about transparency. This window does not work. It's not shut. I don't see any rust bubbles or anything like that on this car. I will tell you that this car seems to be rust free. It was garage kept when I bought it. Rear quarter seems to be nice. I don't see any mud, any Bondo, nothing. This quarter straight. Tire, great shape, pretty much new. This wheel's in better shape than the uh, front wheels. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle. Chrome's in good shape. Also, the lights are in good shape. Little flaw there, another chip. The rear end sits good and looks good. Trunk also looks good. This gap looks nice. And it looks equal with this gap. So gaps on this car so far have been phenomenal. Everything seems to line up nice and straight. Chip there. And this quarter. Good, you got a little, it's a small dent here and a couple chips that were filled in. But you can barely see it. That's good, a few feet away. But there it is. That's probably the worst part of the car, I would say, so far what I've seen. Maybe this here, but maybe this, which is not too bad. If you back up a little bit, you can't see it from three feet. 
bottom of the quarter looks good. This tire, again, tire and wheel looks better than the front. Maybe a little bubble here. It's hard as a rock. I don't know, maybe an imperfection in the paint. Glooped up or globbed up there. This line looks nice, this gap. Let's see if this back one works. Okay, this one wants to go down, but it's hard to go down. So we're not gonna mess with it. I'm sure if you give it some love, we can put it down. Let's try it nice and light. And that door, it's still open a little bit, but it's definitely shut better than the other door and it opened up a lot easier. Medium shuts it good. So these doors on the close test is a medium door push. And this door is in good shape. I see a little chip there, but that's about it. Gap, all even. This is coming up a little bit there, but no bubbling. Nice and smooth. This looks good. This is good to see. And I knew that when I bought it. But yeah, guys, overall, it's a solid looking car. It's got some chips and a little bit of flaws in the body. No major rust. Uh, I don't see any rust, to be honest. I don't see any major dents besides this little one back here. Got a little ding here, but this is a car you get in and drive. Four speed, it's not a show car, but it is a big block and these big blocks are going up in value. They're harder and harder to buy. You got guys like Dennis Collins, he's buying up the S codes. You got Matt at American Muscle, American Mustangs. If you haven't heard of him, check it out his page, American Mustangs. He's out in West Virginia. He does a lot of these S codes as well. And guys are buying them up. So the regular guys that want these cars, it's hard to buy because the collectors and the resellers are buying them. Before we hit the inside, let's go ahead and look undercarriage. And we'll go in the trunk and look under the hood. Looks nice. That all looks good. Inner fender, or inner quarters look good. I like to rot out here, usually where they rot out. And this undercarriage is pretty raw. There's no under spray or anything. So what I would recommend <coughs> is to undercoat this car, next buyer. I'm not doing it, I wanna leave it raw, so to speak, so you can see what you're getting. You don't wanna hide anything or cover up anything, but it is in good shape. It all looks good. Looks all pretty solid. <sighs> Go in the trunk real quick. down here I still see this here and that there oh that flies open
So whoever painted this did a good job. They got all the insides, everything done. Three ninety. Frame rail looks good. You got your tag here, vinyl top, four speed, and it's a factory bench seat, guys. We do have the Marty port available. I will share with any potential buyers. You can just give me a call, 215-801-9493, or send me an email, bobevansclassics.com. I'm sorry, bobevansclassics at gmail.com. And that's what the original color was right there, that light teal blue. Now we'll look on the inside. Like I said, factory bench seat, which is so cool. The seat's in good condition. It's gonna need a carpet. Carpet has some wear. Door panel's in good shape. Dash pad's in good shape. This seat's in good shape. It's got a little cut in the rear headliner in the back. This is in good shape. The rest of the headliner looks to be in good shape. Glass looks good, no cracks from the inside. Showing 90,876 miles. From my understanding, the owner, previous owner said that that's the original miles and that's what he thought when he bought it from the original owner. Let's see if we can fire this up one shot. This is a real cold start. Okay, turn signals don't work. Lights work. Horn doesn't work. Gas gauge is on a quarter. RPM gauge is working. And we'll see if it gets up to temperature. It's just not super bright unless you hit the, the gas. That's to turn it off, but it gets brighter.
still blowing down here. There you go. Oh, the heat's blowing. It's working. Up for sale now, BobEvansClassics.com. Give us a call or go on our website. My direct number is 215-801-9493. Guys, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Give me a call today. I appreciate you checking out our page. And God bless the USA. Thank <laughs> you.